And you, you said uh, eight three two parts and not eleven are insane, but I think what you do at the beginning yeah. road is pretty so insane. Do you have any comment? Dude, why do you uh, support the Patriot Act when it eviscerates the Bill of Rights? So what'd you do at the Bohemian Grove? Dude, dude, dude. situation. Just run this way. And Mr. Cheney, no, Mr. Cheney, what'd you do in the underground bunker on 9 11 when you did the stand down? Let's go, let's go. Back Dick, up, Dick Cheney, Dick Cheney, we know what you did. Dick Cheney, don't put your hands on me. Get out of my way. Don't push it. I'll push it, pal. Don't, don't push me. You can lightly talk to me. That's all you have to do. Are you being polite? Mr. Dick Cheney, we know what you did on 9 11 when you did the stand down orders. Norman Mineta testified against you on the 9 11 Commission report. Mr. Cheney, we know what happened on 9 11. Everybody out there, Mr. President, after you guys were just small animals be released. Young Americans, we know what you did on 9 11 with your stand down orders. You won't get away with it. If you knew that that plan was headed to the Pentagon, why'd you do the stand down order? Mr. Cheney, thank you for all you've done for our country. Thank you. You're a terrorist. You're a terrorist. Thank you. Young Americans are free to love you. During the time that the airplane coming in, to the Pentagon, uh, there was a young man who would come in and say to the vice president, the, the plane is 50 miles out, the plane is 30 miles out. And when it got down to the plane is 10 miles out, uh, the young man also said to the vice president, do the orders still stand? And uh, the vice president turned and whipped his neck around and said, of course the orders still stand. Have you heard anything to the contrary? Well, at the time, I didn't know what all that meant. And um, the flight you're referring to is the, the one flight that came into the Pentagon. Pentagon.